What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. Uh, Fridays is our fixed game. Wednesdays is the podcast. Today is a very special day. This is the anniversary of the Kill Pete strategy on YouTube. So this is one year since I've been making video on YouTube, and I'm celebrating that with a practice game for the Round 2 tournament settings. Fixed caps on Canada, my home and native land. So settings are uh, Capital Conquest on the map Canada, uh, auto setup 60 second turns, expert AI with one bot, fixed cards, balance blitz, no alliance, no fog, and no blizzards. And I am in the fourth position. The bot puts their capital up in the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. Do I have any good cap spots? Northern Saskatchewan looks like the best place for me. I think this is where this is where my capital would make sense to go of of all of the options presented to me. Raleigh Howitzer has a couple of good spots. Could go for Alberta, could go for Yukon Territory, or could go for Quebec. Where you put your cap matters. Matters a whole lot. Black players still thinking about where to put their cap. I don't love Tyler's selection up there, but we'll see if it works out for him. This guy's running his whole turn. Yeah, put some Matagami. I think this is a excellent, excellent cap spot. Finally, Josh Kruger, green player. Put your capital in uh, Yukon. This is capital in Manitoba. Okay, we're going to be friends or enemies this game. In the first position, we have Feliz, by the flag of Peru. 87 hours on this account with 28 wins and 45 losses. They have their capital in Victoria, B.C., and Vancouver, which one's that one called? It's called Vancouver, sure. So he's on the BC train. It's an easy take in Northern British Columbia. How's the turn order going to work between me and Tyler to try and steal the bot's cap? Bot's going to attack off cap. Oh, bot's going to take Newfoundland Labrador. Right. And keep punching. Two on the cap. Hmm. Can Tyler snag it? Tyler's thinking about it. question is, what does he have to punch through to get there? In the second position, we have an expert AI, because all these games will have at least one bot. In the third position, we have Sir Tyler from Canada. 223 hours played with 291 wins and 180 losses. Sir Tyler is a uh, tournament finalist from last season. In the fourth position, we have myself. This is the main Pete account. Kill Pete Strategy VCC. Been making video now on YouTube for a year. 1178 hours with 1709 wins and 645 losses. Looks like Tyler bought it out. That is not good. Okay, well. I can opportunistically try and steal his capital then. 
That's too bad for him. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> boy, oh boy. In the fifth position, we've Raleigh Howitzer, 30 from the United States of America, 456 hours played with 384 wins and 705 losses. And finally, in the sixth position, we've Josh Kruger, with 521 hours played, 157 wins to 241 losses. And Raleigh's going to be going after the bots cap and holding it strong with seven troops. Looks like we have two bots in this game instead of one. We move on to the second turn. <laughs> Tyler's like, who's turn? I think my game's right now. Like, I stole your cap. <laughs> you bought it out. Sorry, man. All right, well, having a second cap on the first turn ain't nothing to sneeze at, so. Let that ride for a while. Looks like some time is still bought. Yep. And it looks like I'm going to hold those two caps. All right. Seven troops. I'm going to put four of them there. Let's put five of them there. And I'm going to put the other one there. Guarding both my capitals with nine stacks. I'm going to take a new door. And pull back. I'll try to keep the bot weak, if at all possible. Um, for my next move, I'm going to be looking to try and take over Saskatchewan. But I have a bot next to me, so I'm in no rush to do that, because the bot's not going to let me hold that continent. Black player also holding two capitals, and they're in a bit of a stronger position as far as Quebec goes. Take on me, sure. Can migrate the stack out, perhaps. That could be a thing. Get it moving towards my. Yeah, I think that actually might be what I want to do. Get this five stack into uh, northern Ontario, with an eye to moving it across to my original capital in Saskatchewan. Still dog shit at these settings. I really need to figure it out too because my tournament game is coming up and I want to get as many points as I can to advance to the next round. Third turn. Magenta player, slow claim on BC. The white bot takes Newfoundland and Labrador again. Ontario's looking nice and thin at the moment. my caps with 11 stacks. I'm going to keep this territory alive if possible. Oh, that doesn't connect? Hmm. Rats. Really get tricked by the Gaspé Peninsula not connecting to mainland Quebec and Saguenay. Um, well, given that, I want to move around the outside instead. No, I think I want to move the direction that I originally intended. I'm moving slowly towards my southern cap in Saskatchewan. Black and I are 
pretty much tied up exactly. But he's got a bot continent on his border now. I'm going to let him fight with that one. Raleigh Howard's of Breaks, the island of Newfoundland. We got a match on three, but it's the low match. I'm in no rush to trade that one in. Looks like Josh trying to migrate his three stack through Middle Saskatchewan to unite it with his capital. All right, capital mode activated. Continues to retake. gonna do about this bot guys The establishment phase of this game is interesting, right? You, you see where everyone shakes out. Me and Raleigh still neck and neck. Huh. Well, it looks like I'm putting in the... Looks like I'm putting in the low match first. No longer neck and neck. And he's going to take the bot out of Newfoundland and Labrador. Got it. Okay. Now we're looking to see if we can get that bounty. I feel like nobody contests him here, he wins easy. The other way to think about it is maybe I set up, or try to set up stable borders and take Ontario. Feliz is thinning out the white bot too. We're getting very close to where it would be apropos to take that bounty. So seeing as how we're doing a tournament practice, the way the scoring works, oh, Feliz is going to take that bounty now. He's killing the bot. How's he going to get that, though? How's he going to get that two stack? I think he fucked up. Yeah. Oops. Yep. All right, let's see if that bot puts in. They put in the 10 match, and they put in the 10 match in fucking Ontario next to me. God damn it. Ah, well, good for you, Feliz. Good for you.
I'm not going to be able to take Ontario with two bots. So I move to the other side. Maybe hope to hook around. Let's see what happens with the seven stack, basically. Don't want these troops here anymore, really. Raleigh's going to have 15 stacks on his caps. And I get a joker, sure. Well, at least I get the plus two there, so that's what I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in the low match with the plus two. Josh Kruger taking Yukon territory. We'll let Feliz hold BC. I bet you that's the game winning moment right there. I think he wins. I think Magenta's positioning is is game winning from here on. That's plus eight for the cards. What do you do? Try and play nice with Magenta. Hope to come in second. Use this four stack here to take Josh out of Yukon territory and take it for myself. We'll see if that works. Sir Tyler Bot doing real well. Let's see if that's good enough. And let's see if I have the high match on there. I fucking... <laughs> yeah, I get the thanks from Feliz. All right. Let's see if he wants to play nice. And I get the sarcastic thanks from Josh. Yeah. Josh surrounded by a lot. Not great. Raleigh Howitzer gets an easy take in Alberta before he loses it to Feliz. I think Feliz wins this game. I think I'm just shooting for second. It's my prediction at the moment. But you know anything can happen. These games can go quite long. Oh, Josh gets a big match. He's going to get a take in Southern Manitoba. Was BC worth five? I'm getting almost as much as Feliz from having the extra cap, and if I hold Yukon, we'll see if he lets me hold it. Looks like he's letting me hold it, but he's taking Alberta. Sure. about where to put his 14 stack. Just on the BC, in the northern BC border. Hmm. Bot attacks that way. Is this a continent taking bot? No, he breaks. He breaks Alberta. Cool. Good, good. I'm down with that. Okay, Sir Talibot gets a plus 10. Oh, yeah. There you go. 
I eat it. I'm just pissing everyone off. Let's see if we get the big match now. Finally. Okay. We'll put in the big match next turn. Hopefully do something with it. I bet you I'm going to lose this position, though. We cut down Fleet's a bit. Not letting him pull too far ahead. <laughs> My prediction would be that Magenta takes me out here. Josh remains in single position with 49 troops along the U.S.-Canada border in the prairies. Yeah, if I was Fleas, I'd add there and just go pop, pop, take me out of there. So you only have bots to worry about. Finishes the border of British Columbia, but doesn't take out my four stack. It's guarding British Columbia now. That is the road to victory. Very strong guard on BC. How do I set myself up for a position that I can start to accrue value from? I'll put in the big match now. I think it's smarter to just have them split on my caps at this point. A two strong caps at 27. I got a three stack that I'm gonna lose. Spend it. There you go. I'm okay with this for now. Not doing too, too badly. Josh able to get easy take still. Southern Saskatchewan. Flea's getting plus 10. I'm gonna take me out of here sooner rather than later. At least I got these two open caps. Also gets the 10 match at 83 troops in the lead.
Void bot occupying most northern Ontario. The part where nobody lives. So Tyler bot doesn't get a take. with 30 troops on my caps. I move my eastern stack to the island of Newfoundland. Okay, Raleigh just behind Feliz at 82 troops. Similar size caps to me. I'm just a couple of troops behind these guys at 78. Josh continue just getting the easiest takes possible. And Flea's getting 10 a turn. I think this game is over. I think Magenta wins for being able to hold British Columbia. I like British Columbia. I'm going to pay more attention to that as a viable strategy. Take BC, maybe you take Yukon, maybe you take Alberta. Yeah, and now he slowly expands out, but with a much stronger guard. That bot just roll a three on two. Much of this bo uh, board is a toxic wasteland of bots fighting bots. Take Feliz out of Nova Scotia. Let's stay in Newfoundland. I added a sneaky single troop there, so I still have a position on both ends of the map. And Black has me surrounded. He will eventually take this corner. But he's in no rush to do it, which is smart. No match on four. Josh said enough. He says, I would like Manitoba. I'm going to try and guard it like that. Okay. And Felice getting plus 10. If Felice was there, I would see no reason for him to not take Alberta. So then what do I do? Do I try and take Saskatchewan? Make a deal with both of these guys, creating stable borders. We can go in other directions. My intuition tells me I blow through this 8 stack. And I get broken by magenta anyways. OK, 
he's setting up to guard Alberta. my five stack out of Yukon. Okay. No match on four, right? Hmm. Not a fan of this situation. the Ontario plan. Depending on what Whitebot does. Black should see this as their opportunity to take Newfoundland, Labrador, and Quebec. Because it is. Oh my god, I get the low match again. Some bad luck this time around. Pop, 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 sit there and take with the 12 stack. Josh Curry getting plus 10 for holding Manitoba. Yeah, this is going to be bad for me. Luck is not on my side this time. I'm starting to think it might make sense to move to take out white and get the bounty. All that waiting. Feliz will take Alberta. Feliz wins this game easy. puts all their troops in Northwest Territory, breaks Alberta, cool. I'm going to take Ontario. That's my time to do that. I'm going to take Ontario, hope I have stable borders with Josh, hope I have stable borders with Raleigh, hope I have stable borders with Feliz. Anyone can really get into Ontario if they wanted to. Leave my stack in Toronto. Do it like that. Let's see who breaks me. So I have a line to get in on black. I have a line to get in. Not really, I guess. Because of the cap there. It's just more of a protective measure. Well, I'm going to take Newfoundland Labrador. He also gets the low match. Does he take Quebec as well? No. No rush. I'm third in terms of troops. That can be a good thing. I'm tied, though, essentially with Josh also. Tied for third. Nobody's breaking through this fortress that Feliz has set up. Is it 125? White 
Bot puts in another match. Ontario somehow. So where do I get my tank? change this board at all. This board is good for me. I can let this ride for a bit. 25 troops off the lead. 15 troops off second place. Raleigh's about to take Quebec. And that will put him in the leading position. Fleece has 146 troops. Whitebot has 36 to be holding two cards. It's really time to start thinking about that bounty on white. So Tyler's bought up to 55. They don't have quite enough troops to break here. Maybe they thin out white a bit. 20 on 9, 20 on 3. Okay. It's better than nothing. Hey man, I'm holding 12. Anytime I can hold 12, I will. That's that's really good. Continue to get my takes easy as possible. A 241 caps and a 22 stack in Toronto. That's someone guarding Ontario. Black will take it back now. As they should. Yeah, black and magenta are much better positions, right? I'm surrounded, so I can't win. But I can take bounties and come in not last, which is the new the new thinking. Josh continued to hold Manitoba. Yeah, I think it's time to start thinking about taking that bounty on white. Whitebot down to 30. Take the bounty. Oh. 
Nine on four is hundred percent. to get the big match. Okay. Buff this cap back up to where it was. I don't think I'm out much in terms of troops, if anything. And pull this back. Raleigh Howitzer gets plus 17. I think he wins this game now. Over Magenta. I come in third. If all things being equal. That's the 8 match. Let's see what he does with it. It's a big, scary 68 stack. Next to my cap up there. I think black wins for sure. Josh still neck and neck with me, just holding Manitoba. going to take Alberta. I really need another continent, I think. Yeah, Feliz is in no rush. Because he already kind of is in the lead, you don't need to push your advantage all that much. Okay, getting 14 troops. See what happens if I do this. See who wants to be my friend. And who doesn't? At least this forces the action, right? Raleigh Howards are still getting 17 troops turn, 69 stack on his cap. A little dab to that. <laughs> really only giving Josh one direction to go unless he chooses to break me which is his prerogative and he chooses ah that was a I didn't see that one yeah that works too cool I'll take that. Okay, if we to take Alberta, but not break me. Cool. Okay, we are progressing this game. Good. I'm happy with all that. Sir Tyler Bot puts in the low match. That 16 stacks going to go this way. <coughs> no. There's a big 16 stack up in Ellesmere Island, but I'm getting plus 18 a turn. So, put six troops. I'll put slightly more. What do I have to split? I have six to split. Okay, we'll do three and three. Cool. 
good with all this. We're now all establishing our positions. I'm in third. I have the one bounty. Josh in a bit of a spot. Might want to break me. Haven't seen him choose to do that. with how this game is going. This is good. Black player in the lead at 210 troops, followed by Magenta at 198. I'm in third at 170, and Josh has 135, but he's holding five cards. A lot of patience required for these settings. Now that we're in a very stable situation, this can last for a while until somebody makes a move. I'm happy to keep giving Josh cards there. I'm splitting my bonus equally between the three positions. Raleigh's trying to get this stack to move. Yeah, I get to keep trading cards with Josh there, which is totally fine by me. That's what he wanted. 
You want to sulk around through the north. Has anything changed? Oh, I'm getting one less troop. again. So I don't trade with Josh. I want to see if he hits that seven. See you, Colin. Still in third place. With Josh sitting at fourth at 183, we've got a match. We assume the big match on five. Yeah. That's an easy take up there. Game very stable. This could go on for quite a while in this way until somebody does something. Oh, that that counts as something. Okay. Feliz moves into the territories. That definitely counts as something. So Tyler bought down to thirty nine. Getting close to thinking about cleaning that up. Put both my stacks on my caps this time around. like Raleigh is taking out the Sir Tyler bot. Gets the second bot. Okay. More progress. Oh. 
Second bot defeated. Felice slight lead, 253 troops. We're always putting in a match. It's going to be tight. Yeah. 259. Okay. Troop lead is 259. Second, 253. I'm 234. In fourth place, we have Josh. At 202. It's a take out of here, I would bet. Pulls in. Yeah. I have not had great luck with the cards this time around. Please takes the Yukon. Good, tight gameplay. Everyone's playing well. It looks like I'm in a four-player group as well, so there will be two bots in my tournament game. It's good to practice with two bots, even though it wasn't intentional. who gets the low match again. Card luck this game has been shitty. I got two caps at 100. A 64 stack off in Toronto. Looks like Black wins the scheme. Josh's amazing ability to trade over a single territory for hours at a time. The patience. It's impressive. Police now getting plus 18. Stays in the lead in terms of troops. And he's been able to slowly expand with this multi-point guard. Feel the noose closing around our necks.
Nobody's going to hit anybody. The available territories left to get a take are just going to dwindle. Josh now can't get an easy take without violating my borders. Let's see if he does it. Incredibly patient, man. Move that there. Still gonna allow us to trade with him over there for a bit. Sure. In the lead, Raleigh Howitzer, 337 troops, followed by Feliz at 321. I'm close there at 315. Josh Kruger is down to 231 troops. Looks like he will be next to go. But by who? allowing himself to be card locked. The Black and Magenta aren't going to fight each other. They're just going to win the game. I'm going to come in third. This board is now nicely choked out. Deep sixes on my three positions. 
give Molly's a take there if he wants it. has had enough. He wants some action. Still pretty close game for top three, but I'm behind by a slight increment. Josh pops my 10 stack. Yes. Let's see if that encourages anything. Probably not, right? Neither of my two leading opponents need to do anything. So they will default to doing nothing. I take third with two bounties. bounties. That's the game. These guys can take me out. Raleigh takes the advantage. Punching into Feliz. Down to three players.
doesn't hit me at all. These guys are still pretty much tied up in terms of troops. And I'm in a distant third. Somehow I'm still being allowed to hold continents. are so incredibly tedious.
probably take Saskatchewan. Still letting me hold on Terry Manitoba. We seem to be stabilizing, which is not really what I wanted. I wanted this to be over. I mean, it is over. Black is getting 27 troops a turn, so there's no way that my and I can coordinate to recover. So we both just die very slowly.
Somehow I've been allowed to catch back up to Magenta. And Magenta has 240 troops off cap. If I was set up to take that bounty, I would, and then this game would be over. Magenta needs to put those troops back on their cap immediately, because I'm going to kill them and take the bounty. Or at least I'm going to try. I don't think this actually works. I think I lose. But let's try and get lucky. If he leaves 250 off cap, I'm going to try and blow through that. Come on, enough. Let's finish. Let's finish this. Gives me his bounty. I get second with three bounties. That's great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so incredibly blessed and grateful that you're here enjoying my show after a year of hard work um, it means so much to me that I have this blessing of an audience people willing to 
enjoy my work. Um, I'm trying my best to make the best video I can for you all. Um, make the game as interesting. Hopefully you learn something, you get a little bit better. I know I learned a ton. I'm getting so much out of doing this work still. I'm getting better myself. I'm connecting with you all. I had no expectation of this being the success it has been. Um, the tremendous force that it has been in my life. All encompassing in some aspects. I love this game. I love this community. Thank you all so much for watching. Black is taking the bounty. He's making sure that he gets all of me first without taking the final cap. So he would get the bounty for it, right? It would count as the kill. And that's the game. Wow, I'm a YouTube partner, right? One it, incredible to, to think that after uh, ten months, I was able to become a partner on YouTube. Good game, man. Good game. Second and three bounties is just fine by me. That's ten plus nine, nineteen points. Hey, if that happens in my real tournament game, I'll be pretty satisfied with that. Um, yeah, defeating a master, two grandmasters, and losing to Raleigh Howitzer. 30. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun. Maybe you learned a thing or two. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my show and come along this ride with me. I do a fixed game on Fridays. I do the podcast on Wednesdays. I stream on Twitch whenever I can. And every other day... Every other day I do whatever I want, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.